You're listening to the Sands Fans Network. Hey everybody and welcome to this week's episode of Baseless Speculation, all the pop culture news and other research so you don't have to. I'm Joel. I'm Jackson. And today we're joined by guest Joel, Adam. Hello, it's me! <laughs> I'm here! <laughs> It's good to be here. <laughs> Thank you. I was told that the uniform for today's episode was a cap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You've nailed it, dude. You've yeah, truly yeah. nailed it. Yeah. Now, boys, what do we think is going to happen in the Fallout TV series? television program. I feel like they've been threatening mm-hmm. to do this for a million years. Games, man, I, they are hot properties. Yeah. We've got the Mario. We got the uh, Borderlands. Borderlands. Five Nights at Freddy's. We got the Five Nights la- at Freddy's. I don't feel like the Fallout one was as heavily like anticipated as the two the video last, game yeah. universes. Five the Nights two video Freddy's? game fan. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Huh? The two video game fandoms. I'm very deeply invested in sure. Fallout and Halo. Right. Yeah. And I feel I like Halo. Fallout Halo, true. Yeah. <laughs> Fallout is not nearly as like tempted f- to turn into a TV show as as Halo was. Yeah. Halo yeah. they were ta- they were teasing us for <laughs> threatening. Yeah. yeah, threatening for like decades. <laughs> do you yeah. know Steven Spielberg was attached yeah, to Yeah, I do remember that. That's I do remember that. that. Yeah, yeah, huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Makes yeah. Sense. Well, I guess cuz well, I guess with, with with Halo there's not many Choices, right? Mm. You can just like it's just like a linear storyline. Yeah. Whereas with Fallout, I, I feel the like options yours. Yeah, I feel like with Fallout, they just kind of like immediately they were like, "Here's the project and go," and they did it. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you whereas, exa- you're well, a big Fallout guy. Yeah, yeah. We, we could even go so far as to call you Johnny Fallout. Hmm. I, you could indeed call me Johnny Fallout. Also, it's not my legal name though. Time out. Um, this is a complete tangent on a conversation I'm having, but. <laughs> Did you know there is a character in DC Comics called Johnny DC? I did not. <laughs> and their job is to, they are in charge of the continuity of the DC universe. And their name within is... Within the comics of the yeah, DC. Yeah, within the comics. And they go and be- beat the shit out of Blue Beetle. And they look like, uh-huh. a, like a woman with a big head and like a spring or a body made of the letters D and C. Huh. Anyway, I learned about Johnny uh-huh. DC recently and I was like, did we make this person up? Is there a Johnny Marvel? I don't there know. There should be a Johnny there should Marvel. Be. Well, apparently it's... Anyway. Anyway. Jimmy Marvel. I no, think you're making is. me get another tangent to yeah. drop your tangent <laughs> of that tangent because now I'm remembering the amalgamation universe yeah. where DC and Marvel started making sweet love yeah. and there was a guy that they followed like a main character and was he maybe Johnny Comics? <laughs> Do you mean anyway? Good old Johnny Comics. <laughs> Adam, you're yes. Johnny yes. Fallout. I'm Johnny Fallout. That is correct. Uh-huh. So, are you excited for this TV show? One thing I noticed when we watched the trailer mm. is that you reacted. Maybe this was all theater, mm. but you reacted <laughs> as though you'd never seen it. So I I had seen it. I was aware it was of it. Theater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were putting you were putting us on. I thought you were about to say how I got real mad wow. at one point. Well, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, you yeah. did that, that was, too. That was. A little bit of theater, but it was okay. also real. I was also a little mad about okay. the thing that I got mad yeah. about. Okay. But yeah, but are you excited about this this TV show? <sighs> I'm just, annoyingly, yes. <laughs> Fair enough. Why annoyingly? Honestly, I think That's it looks right. pretty fun. I hope it is fun. I just did. Yeah. Movie, or one media to another mm. media doesn't have a great track record unless maybe you're booked to movie. Mm, yeah. They make, a lot, from of, they make a lot of well, garbage. I'm like, <laughs> the Last of Us TV series is great. Yeah. yeah. And that name did you know, tick? Yeah. Sure. Well All right. Let's uh, put one in the positive I, Yeah, I yeah. am. One, one in the, the positive. Um, let's see. The Mario film. People it's enjoyed it. And maybe, and there was a lovely discussion if it was perhaps too trad wife or too woke enough. <laughs> yeah. I don't know yet. I can't comment. I can't so, comment. I still am I'm, I'm, I'm We're putting one... One Mario movie yeah. in the good column. Yeah. yeah. There's another Mario movie, I mean, all this stuff, well, well, from well, the 80s. That doesn't the, count. The, the, it was 90s. Oh, sorry. We're picking yes. time periods. Well, the, the Super Mario Brothers with Bob Hopkins was, like, you know, beloved, I yeah, think, uh, by at least at one the, person in this room. Yeah, at the time. Yeah. <laughs> As a, yeah it's, it's such a great, like, the movie. Yeah. You know, the little, little Goombas, little tiny heads. He gets them all dancing. Oh, it's, it's wonderful. I, wonderful. All wonderful I'm saying film-going is, experience. <laughs> all I'm saying is it's just very telling. Mm-hmm. 
that not only is there a culture of mm. uh, video games being adapted to other mm. media and it being bad, not only mm. is there that culture, but it is so prevalent that we have famous names <laughs> from yeah. that culture. Oh, yeah. Just there like, are famous actors and directors who are known yes. for making that. Absolutely. Yes. Well, u Ball is not connected to this in any <laughs> He's way. He's making that a web or whatever. u Ball. <laughs> Uwe <laughs> Ball doesn't make every bad thing that yeah. touches this earth. Speaking of Madam, where did you hear recently about how I think Sony execs are a bit pissed at Dakota uh, Johnson? Like, that's cause, awesome. Because she's like, yeah, it was a bad film. That, that fucking like, How dare she say how bad film was <laughs> let, bad? Let actors diss the movie they were in. That's <laughs> yeah. funny. How, how dare she get mad that we tricked her Dude, to thinking she was in Marvel? That <laughs> kicks off. Who does she think she is? I saw a really funny interview with Dwayne The Rock Johnson uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. promoting Black Adam recently. Yeah. And in it, they're like, they're like, Dwayne, uh, which of the three Jokers do you think is going to appear in your DC universe? Barry Keoghan, uh, Ma- uh, 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 Yakin Phoenix? Yeah, Yakin Phoenix, and then fucking, what's his name? I don't know. He's the scumbag guy. <laughs> he was in Suicide Squad. Oh, Jared Leto. Oh, Jared Leto. And you watch as it's immensely clear Dwayne has no fucking idea <laughs> what they're saying. And he's like, Barry Keoghan. Barry's my guy. Barry's my guy. I love what he did in Joker. Like, it's just the best. I love what he did in Joker. <laughs> it's awesome. He clearly has just got no idea. He <sighs> talks for like two minutes saying absolutely nothing. It rocks. It's a talent. Yeah. But I think the thing with the with the Fallout TV mm. show, or, so, um, yeah, there have been some good video game TV mm-hmm. shows and, and movies that have come out recently. This one, the names, uh, the person directing it is one of the creators of Westworld, yeah? Mm-hmm. As, I believe I so. Uh, it said that on the trailer. <laughs> it sure did. It said from the creator of Westworld and the producer the of creator, some other. The creator, but there's multiple directors. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. But I think it's one of the creators of Westworld. Now, mm-hmm. Westworld, remind me. <laughs> one good season. <laughs> one good season. Well, yeah, one good one season. confusing season. Then yeah. Two. How many seasons did that have again? It had I don't know. Four. I don't know. Oh I, boy! I don't think you can watch it anymore. <laughs> I think that's, that's now it's all gone. Got, did, it's gone from max. Did it's they all spend gone. more time outside of the park than in? Yeah, that's mm. crazy. The third season, dude, is just set in a city, and the yeah. guy from Breaking Bad, mm-hmm. is Aaron a robot? Walker, pa- Paul no. Walker, Jim, Tom, Jimmy Aaron Walker, Paul? No. Aaron Paul Walker, <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy. Jimmy Bad. I Jimmy believe, Breaking Bad. Aaron I believe Paul. for a brief moment I had the name. Aaron, Aaron Paul. <laughs> and you took it from Aaron me. Paul. <laughs> right? Aaron Paul. Jimmy Aaron Paul. Jimmy Walker. That's like two thirds of a name. He's got to have another. It's beer. Aaron Paul. It's got to be like Aaron Paul. I Joe. think it is Aaron Paul, <laughs> Jack. God, I think it Aaron is Aaron Paul. Paul. That's insane. Those are two first names. <laughs> <laughs> it's not legal, but it is with yeah, name. It's Aaron Paul. Okay. Uh, you can have yeah. you can have two names as like your name. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's fair. That's yeah. fair. Yeah, Jackson. Yeah. yeah. Well, I have two surnames. Jackson and Bailey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. That was that's my, allowed. That was the point. I was. <laughs> anyway, so not a great like on you know if we just, if we're to take that coming uh-huh. into this. Yeah. But I, to be honest, I think it looks. Uh, all right. I think it looks yeah, kind of fun. It looks kind of fun. Yeah. I don't know much about the Fallout series. I think I was there when you were playing it. I know it. so much. Um, it's not <laughs> my much. cup of tea. I'm not a huge like fan of that sort of like the Bethesda mm. uh, first person RPG type yeah. thing. Um, that said, I probably put maybe so many hours into Skyrim being mm. like, do I like this? I don't know. <laughs> it's a sure. fun way to play a game. Uh, it's a good way to waste time. Yeah, yeah. 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 So uh, again, it's not never been like my favorite series or something like mm. that. I never really got into it. But I know you definitely have like yeah, how many Fallout? <laughs> how many hours of? Uh... I can't count. Okay. I actually literally can't count because mm. I experienced some sort of era where um, Steam <laughs> disc <laughs> Steam ticked over. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, Steam was like, you can't be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> like Steam that, didn't believe yeah, one Steam man did, could play that much Fallout. I, I actually literally did have an That's era really where right. I would because I would play long periods disconnected from the internet, and when I came back online, yeah, and Fallout would hmm. communicate with Steam servers or whatever. Fallout would be like, he played a hundred hours this week, and Steam would be like, no, he didn't. <laughs> no, that's, no, he that's, didn't. That's impossible. Shut that's, up. That's, that's impossible. fucking awesome, dude. Yeah. <laughs> he was, like, he was, he was disconnected for longer than he I, really so, played. I don't, how's that possible? How is there, this? No. there is a number attached to my Steam account for how many hours I've spent but in various it's places. Not but accurate. it's not correct, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> is there a ballpark figure? Would you like to share with the I class? genuinely could not Do you think it would be over in total over a thousand hours for multiple Fallout games? 
Fallout 1, from memory, I think I have 69. Nice. Yeah. I was in. Mm-hmm. Nice. That's still a funny joke, right? It's an awesome thing to yeah. do, either way. <laughs> <laughs> I think 69 gets a really bad rap. <laughs> <laughs> Fallout 1, 69, and then Fallout 2 about the same. How does it get about <laughs> Sorry to People interrupt. just talk a lot of shit it, about 69. How does it get up? What do you mean? Tom Walker was talking shit about it? What are you talking? What are you talking? What are you talking? He was saying it's too much, I'm, I'm too, too much effort. I'm with him. Too much effort? You yeah, just lie like, there and lick. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. People are saying it's like it's like I don't know. They're saying it's cringe. It's the basically. least movement. I mean, I mean, I think I I I think I mean like there's this weird thing uh, with it as well because the other way is like well okay um it's my turn now. Yeah, <laughs> it's exactly. also kind of weird as Taking well, right? Turns, when know. you kind of break it down to be Isn't like, isn't that the point of sixty nine? Exactly. You both yeah, have your turn. That's, yeah, what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Always. That's what I'm that's saying. That's wonderful about so it. So it's you know you're sixty nine. You're having a right. good time, both of you. Um, but that the problem there is that maybe one of you gets too distracted. Yeah. There, therein lies the rub. Mm. Um. Or it's like maybe I don't want your nose in my asshole. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah. know. No balls in I, my uh, chin or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I will but admit, the other way around, you're like, well, uh, you know, let's have a, you know, hey, Han. Yeah. So, Han. I'm <laughs> 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 getting a bit of lock. Yeah, yeah, can, so, we just, can we just swap? Can we just have a bit of a, a, bit of a breather? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I will <laughs> admit there's a bit of pressure to it. To yeah. 69, yeah, yeah. Yeah, to yeah. 69, and because if one person comes really quick, the yeah. other person... <laughs> I didn't think of that! Yeah. 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 <laughs> true. One person comes really quick, the other person's like, <laughs> oh my god! Are you going to spin you around and just go back to regular? Yeah. Well, what's the plan here? Well, I guess you could just, yeah. but then that's movement, so well, if you're yeah, doing yeah. it for yeah, a lazy yeah. Sunday or whatever... Yeah. <laughs> well, what about, like, when, you know, like, uh, I guess, uh, horizontal 69ing? If you're playing them like a tuba. Oh, yeah. I think that's awesome. Mm. Oh, I think I'd run out of mean. grip strength. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, no upper body strength. Yeah, I like the idea that's of That's what it, a sex though. swing's for, baby. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I, I, don't know I just think 69 gets a bad rap, and I think we got to just sort of improve the sort yeah, of... Relationship. Yeah. I think yeah. I think people need to okay. get into it. Like embrace it more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think we need to what? do a campaign. So what, like, or what, uh, <laughs> Gen Z? They took our seating. So yeah. With the millennials now, got to come back with. <laughs> no, we're taking a stance. <laughs> okay, you. We want skinny jeans and sixty nine. Six skinny jeans, sixty nine. That's not cringe. <laughs> it's based. <laughs> eating ass is cringe. No, eating ass is based too. It's, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, it's all good. Um. Anyway. <laughs> I've, I I know I got us here, but I forget how I did it. <laughs> Sixty nine hours in Fallout One. Right. Yes. Okay. What? Have you got another funny sex number for Fallout Two? Uh, Fallout Two is similar, okay. so it's also sixty nine. Okay. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Nice coming. Yeah. yeah. Good. Good. Even. Good. Yeah. Good. We're bringing right. it back. We're bringing it back. We're bringing it back. I bounced off Fallout Tactics pretty hard, so mm-hmm. I have no idea how many. I'm amazed hours you I even that. played it. Mm. <laughs> I know it's um, that kind of game. And then I jumped... I know there's some games in between that never get talked about, but then I jumped mm. to Fallout 3, which is actually the first Fallout mm. game that I played. Mm-hmm. I'm sure mm-hmm. a lot of people are the same on that one. That one, honestly, couldn't tell you. It's in the hundreds, mm-hmm. yeah. maybe thousands. Yeah. I genuinely <laughs> don't know. Thousands. Fallout New Vegas, I've played the most, yeah. mm-hmm. and that would be more than Fallout 3 is all yeah, I know okay. on that one. Wow. Fallout 4 is, I think, probably the most accurate. I forget how many hours I have in that, though. But that's when Steam Mm -hmm. came to terms, (laughs) I have to assume. Um, That's so I have no idea how many hours in Fallout 4. And then Fallout 76, I think I've played a total of, like, three hours. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for it it, uh, wasn't good. Yeah. Yeah. But you're a big Fallout guy. So, Mm. like, so, because... this, I think maybe what makes this kind of almost appealing or not look so terrible is that in a in a kind of show where they could have gone for a lot of easy references, mm. to my eye, whether that's untrained or not, it doesn't look like they did. I know there mm. are references to a broader Fallout universe. You can see the Pridwin from Fallout 4. We don't... Uh, do, does it say Pridwin on the side? Because... Who is that's a Pridwin? Who well, knows? All I'm that's saying a, is a it's a big Pridwin. airship. Okay. The, yeah, it's the yeah. If you in one in the background, they have a zeppelin at oh, okay. one point, the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, that's yeah. cool. So the Brotherhood of Steel actually have done zeppelins several yeah. times over the Fallout. Good. Games. Whoa, mm. they've done zeppelins several times over yeah. the Fallout games. Mm-hmm. So it could have mm-hmm. been. Oh yeah, but okay. anyway, but like yeah. that's clearly a reference. And there was like a fucking squid guy, and then like a, <laughs> one of the Yao Guai from the other game. But a Yao Guai, one head. Whoa. Yeah, Yago, I have two heads. But that's anyway, the that's... It, the bear! The bear. Okay. It, it doesn't seem too referential. Yeah. Well, I, that's almost a little bit annoying to me because... So it's <laughs> oh, okay. set 
I'd set my understanding is set in Los Angeles, yeah. Mm-hmm. Which, by the law of Fallout, because it's also two hundred years after the bombs fell, yeah. That Fallout, uh, Los Angeles should be a part of the NCR, and it mm. doesn't look like it is. Okay, but maybe. Well, I don't I, know. What obviously I imagine... we're just watched a trailer, mm-hmm. but I could also imagine because uh, people love to do movies love to do this these days, but they'll be like, it's just an alternate timeline, mm. or like they do an... all the time with the uh, <laughs> Friday the Thirteenth series for some well, reason. But that's just that's 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 adaptation. <laughs> Why do I gotta call it the timeline? That's just what say it's an say. adaptation. A... It's not like we got Mario the the fucking <laughs> film, and then like every time you play Nintendo. 64, you're like, oh, it's an alternate universe. No, you come from Brooklyn. You just accept it's It's a freaking TV show. You read a book, you watch a movie, there are alternate timelines. (laughs) One fucking adapts the other, you dumb cunts. (laughs) It definitely... God damn it, you've made me mad. No, is this a you thing? Or is is this what people do? I'm getting mad for no reason, or am I getting mad at you? (laughs) So, (laughs) do you... I'm scared. Feels like you're about to hit me. So TV shows and movies they do love to do a thing where they're like, "Oh, if it doesn't make sense, some exec somewhere is like it's in a different timeline." The one that I come to mind most immediately is it's Friday the Thirteenth that has Jason in it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or is that Halloween? That's Halloween. How, is it no, Halloween? Halloween has Mike Myers. Jason is Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know which one I mean. <laughs> Even clarifying it didn't help. <laughs> Let's say it's... <laughs> what? What? Where, where was this going? <laughs> Let's say... No, it's Halloween. It's okay. Halloween. Okay. With so, Mike Myers. Yes. So the... the, the the yeah, yeah, the, 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 the Kirk yeah, yeah, yeah. So they they recently announced that there's a Halloween television program coming out. Okay. Cool. But as part of that, they mm-hmm. were like, "Don't worry, it doesn't." <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. <laughs> you're scared, but no, it doesn't branch on from the most recent Halloween movie. <sighs> okay. And they use the phrase, "It's an alternate timeline." Right. Why are you saying that adaptation? That's, I don't that's know. Stupid. Because uh, because Marvel wrecked everyone's brains, dude. Oh, everything yeah. needs to be connected to everything. Yeah, they, everything they is a fucking down portal. Fucking dope. I forget ah. who said it, but there was a while ago someone was talking about how. Like, oh, Marvel have to do these sorts of things mm. because, you know, you got to explain why Captain America's here mm. then, uh, there, mm. you know, why is Captain America a different person now? We have to explain it. No, you don't. And I remember <laughs> that was in some sort of uh, conference or whatever. Yeah. And the next person who spoke turned around and was immediately like, people got that James Bond is a different guy. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. For decades. <laughs> of course. Of for course. decades, okay. they just changed the actor, and everyone was like, "Oh, that's James Bond." Okay, yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's Batman. Batman yeah. also the same oh, thing. What time Batman. is what time is Clute Fleck? What time is uh, Keith Mike Fleck? Fleck or whatever. whatever. Yeah. It's fine. That's Batman but, now. Okay. Right. So Adam, you you had beef mm-hmm. with the fact that it didn't make sense with so your time. A, so if they came out and they were like, "Don't worry, it's an alternate timeline," would you be like, "Ah, oh, I would take that." <laughs> I no, I've been calm. I would take that as a negative sign because I know why they've done that. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> by yeah. the lore of the games, and I don't think they need to use the lore of the games. Of I think it's yeah. fine if they want to restart everything. Yeah. But it, I, I'm, I would see it <clears throat> as very potentially a sign of something else where... So when Fallout 76 came out, the Brotherhood of Steel was in Fallout 76. Nice burp. Thank you. The Brotherhood was in that, and people were like... Why is the Brotherhood of Steel mm. in this game? They shouldn't canonically be here at this time. Same with Super Mutants, yeah? Yeah, and Super Shit. Mutants. And Bethesda came out and they were like, we are not beholden to this yeah. lore. We don't care. Mm. It yeah. was made by a different company decades ago. We don't care. And I genuinely, I actually think that's fine. Yeah, yeah. it works. But the reason that they did that was not because they didn't want to be beholden. It's because they <laughs> wanted the Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah. The Brotherhood mm-hmm. of Steel have to, and Super Mutants, they have the, the cool armor they that look you cool. can they're sell iconic. for 10 yeah. bucks a pop. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. got the cool looking armor and they're they're yeah. really they they look nice. They're great to put on box art and stuff like that. Yeah. And that just it just it just betrays the Bethesda idea of like look pretty, mm. no depth. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. my that is why okay. I'm worried about this. Okay, can I counter that? Sure. With as a Johnny Q, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, sure, please. Um, so I know basically Fallout, and if I'm if I'm being like, okay, hey, here's Fallout as a as a as a medium. Yeah. Mm. Uh, when you adapt into a TV series, I'm gonna be like, okay, cool. Well, let's. I got things I know, and they, they look kind of cool to on. Camera on yeah. the screen, those kind of stuff. Ah, like, oh, cool. I like mutants. They look pretty sick. These yeah. kind of ideas. This like you know military and like mech suits. Oh yeah, sick. We can kind of chuck them in. Ah, oh, cool. Well, you know, why don't we just use that? Because we don't know if we're going to get another chance to adapt any of this in terms of like 
what the future may hold. Sure. So it's like, well, these 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 guys are pretty cool at one point, so we can just chuck them in there, and they look kind of nice. And sure, you might be take the idea of like, oh, it just is a very shallow thing, and it's got no depth here. But they're like, well, this kind of makes sense for this particular story because from from the looks of it, it looks like Walter Goggins was. Um, Mr. Better, Cowboy <clears throat> Ghoul. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Cowboy Ghoul as selling it. Mm. Potentially, as the bombs go off, I think he might have gotten irradiated. Now he's maybe 200 years old or yeah, whatever. Yeah, oh, well, yeah that's how a ghoul is, works. Is, is that how a ghoul works? That's yeah. how that, a ghoul works. Brother, yes. that's ghouls. Ghouls maybe don't age. We're not 100% sure if they okay, can die cool. of old yeah. age in the law. Nah, cool, 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 cool. Mm. So I'm just like, you know, they're just like, okay, cool. We can grab, you know, that, that as a guy, mm-hmm. and chuck it in there. That kind of fits the story. We've got someone who can tell that particular, like the history, the, the exposition of the world of what happened without yeah. it being too, I don't know, on the nose, as it were. Mm. And then you have someone who's like, oh, yeah. And then we have the the conflict being the brotherhood. Because the brotherhood are, what are they? They're the militaristic thing. They yeah. try and do good, but they're a little bit fash. Well, it depends on who's running the story. <laughs> yeah. So it, they have varied at times from being like this insular military techno-fascist mm. sort of thing to literal knights of the round table yeah, yeah. battling evil and stuff okay. like that. They varied <clears throat> widely throughout the series. Okay. I'm assuming they're going to be bad guys in this, though. It looks like maybe because the trailer doesn't show us any other other than, like, monsters. Mm. But it there's clearly show us... one guy who's yeah. part of the Brotherhood, and then it seems like, just based on the trailer, he has a kind of, um, what's his name from Star Wars? Mm-hmm. Finn? Finn, a sort of mm-hmm. Finn oh, thing, yes, where he's sure. like, mother. Freaking hell! This is, ba- I'm part is that of the what you're getting from him? Because the yeah. only line I think we hear in one of the trailers is him being like, "I joined the Brotherhood of Steel to uh, kill people who hurt me." But then he has mm. another line, which oh, I think okay. is the same guy, where he's like, "Everybody wants to save the world; they just disagree on how." Well, mm. that still feels heaps like. But I think that's him being like. That's a still a dis- villain line, I think. Really? Oh uh, yeah, I think I, def- I definitely think he's going to become the secondary protagonist. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Maybe that yeah. feels yeah. villain yeah. coded to me, though. Yeah. Really? No, yeah. for me, it feels like a I've been disillusioned by what the Brotherhood of Steel are trying to do, and I disagree with it now because I see, previously I thought it was the right way to go. I see mm. it literally as the opposite, where yeah. he's being like, "Oh, you think you, the protagonist, think yeah. you're doing the right thing, but maybe yeah. I'm the one doing the right maybe. thing." We yeah, don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I thought it was going to be a thing where it's like you're going to have multiple protagonists all coming together at some mm. point. Yeah, where we're going to have um, I think the main. The main, uh, the, the main one we kind of see the vault, the vault uh, woman whose name is Lucy. Okay, mm-hmm. so it's like yeah, she's gonna be one. You're gonna have um, Walton Goggins as the ghoul as the yeah. other, and then you're gonna have I think his name is Maximus, mm. who is the guy from the Brotherhood. I think there's, those are the things that are all gonna be like. Um, converging at one because yeah. I think the yeah. villain is going to be just the world. It's going to be a hostile environment. Nah, I reckon I do think actually it will be the Brotherhood of Steel, and yeah. I kind of hope it is because I think they make good antagonists. Mm. They're very like they have that innate power. They've got the mm. armor that they come in with. They've got advanced technology. I okay. think that makes them, I, and that's already inbuilt. Uh, yeah. So I, I think yeah, you can like, also see when the uh, Lucy, the Vault Dweller, has that, yeah. this is that scene at the end where she's gearing up for something. Mm. Mm. If I had to guess, there would be some kind of bomb or mm-hmm. machine mm. that the Brotherhood have made. That in the end, they're like, "We got to stop the bomb or machine." Could, Maybe a could, giant mech man. Perhaps. They could do that. Although mm. I wonder if it was if they were going to have that. Um, There's a giant mech man in the it's game. called Liberty Prime. Yeah. Okay. I feel like could, if they were going to have that, they might have it in the trailer though. Maybe. Nah. Okay. Uh, no, you, you don't want to. I don't want to blow your load too early. Well, yeah, but trailers just do now. Yeah. Good point. <laughs> like, Maybe, obviously yeah, not what, yeah, but like. <laughs> <laughs> That's just trailers these yeah. days. They got to give you everything because of the cinema system. Yeah. You know I, that thing. Could it be a thing? Because in in the game, it's yeah. like you do all the different factions, and none of them are necessarily yeah. like are they uh, are they all kind of like oh they may be well, evil, we they may really be not know. because it's hard to say because it's been you know x yeah. many years and the world fell apart. Is it going to be one of those things where it's just kind of like there is it's a boiling like you know it's about to tip over. It's kind of almost like the, the machinations of the say, the Brotherhood mm. versus I don't know some other settlers. NCR some other would this. be Luka the Cola. Nuka Cola, <laughs> Mr. Nuka Cola. Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Like whatever the factions are, almost kind of like a like a political old zippy. I yeah. remember. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it could be. Cause there is. They are in. So this is what bothered me because it doesn't seem like this faction is in the world. And I, mm. like I was saying, I I'm like just worried that it's. I'm worried that that the decision to have the Brotherhood of Steel and not have, or at least in the trailer, mm. not have this other faction is like a. We just want to put the cool thing in. Just a not a design and marketing, not a design, mm-hmm. just a marketing decision, which yeah. makes me a little afraid. But anyway, sorry. So 
There's another faction called the NCR who should be around this area at around this time, who are historically a very antagonistic force to the Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you could make that very interesting because neither of them are good guys. Yeah. The mm. NCR is just like the U.S. government, mm-hmm. just recreating the U.S. Mm-hmm. government, basically. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you know, you get all the issues and the corruption that comes with that. They're literally okay. recreating the system that blew up the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, and then ah. you've got the techno-fascists who mm-hmm. come in and are, or possibly techno-fascists who come in. They just <clears throat> would naturally butt heads. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you could very easily have that against each other. And then a vault dweller would be the perfect in the middle type character because mm. they're, they're literally... <laughs> stepping out of the vault being like, hi, I'm new to the world. Yeah, yeah. A, can you explain what everything? What a great yeah. character to have as your, your, your ah, point of view. so yeah, good. It's, built I, in. I, it's just a beautiful thing to be like, I don't, I'm a fish out of water yeah. and I don't know what's going How's on. How's the world? Well, a, what's a rad roach? <laughs> a, can you explain everything to me? Mm. And B, oh, so A, can you explain everything to me? Mm-hmm. B, I have no connection to any of these factions. C, all of these factions want to destroy my home yeah. because mm. of the precious crap inside. <laughs> yeah. They yeah. want to get all up in the goo Absolutely. of my home. Yeah. If I had to sort of... There's like, yeah, I was going to say, there's eight episodes, I believe, okay. and you look on IMDb and who knows if that's true or not, but yeah, like yeah. the Vault Dweller's only in five episodes and like... Oh, oh, weird. Maximus is in four and... So it's kind of like, again, I don't know if that actually means anything. Is anyone in, in eight episodes? Uh, someone called Norm. Don't know what that uh, means. Yeah. <clears throat> this guy Norm, here. Norm's but, in all eight. Interesting. But then again, this is... But also the, it, this could also just be And that also nothing. doesn't mean five consecutive episodes. Yeah. What that could and mean that also is we could get, just be a lie. Well, true. Yeah. But what it could mean is that we get like a couple of episodes <laughs> yeah. of Lucy, then we go to the ghoul and there's two I, ghoul-focused episodes. I reckon, yeah. my mm-hmm. bet, we start with Lucy. Episode one is Lucy comes out of the vault. We get the, just like, uh, maybe an initial part of the backstory. Episode one, I think Lucy is going to meet um, Walter Goggins' yeah. character. The ghoul, is mm-hmm. that his name? That's yeah. funny. Uh, and then th- we have the how did we get here yeah. conversation. And then maybe episode two or episode three, we jump over to uh, the Brotherhood of Steel. Maximus. Maximus. Guy, Maximus. Yeah. Yeah. We jump over to Maximus, and then we <clears throat> get Maximus's backstory for yeah. a couple of consecutive episodes till where they converge together, and then we go from yeah. there. Because so surely with Walton Goggins as the ghoul, it's going to be like... Lucy meets him, and he's crazy as a fucking loon, and he's doing drugs. And she's like, who's this crazy cowboy? Two episodes of tragic backstory. Yes. Oh, yes. oh, he's got that more depth to him than I realized. Yeah, it's like, how did you get here? It's yeah. like, well, let me tell you a story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you sort of get the history of what happened through the eyes of yeah. Man. Yeah. And, you know, so I'm just trying to think of, like, if, if you, yeah, you kind of want quickly, that from the first episode. Yeah. Can you yeah. check the cast? Not the top cast, but the full cast for uh, Todd Howard. I'm just curious <laughs> <laughs> if that's going to show up. Be, well, did you see that thing with Elon Musk where he showed up to be, like, he showed, allegedly. No. I don't know if this is true. Oh, there's no, fo- I have seen this picture, there's though, yeah. a photograph yeah. of Elon Musk who showed up on set. Yeah. You can mm. see, um, uh, you can see Todd Howard in the background being, like, Get out of here, you motherfucker. But allegedly, (laughs) Elon Musk turned up on set to try and get into the production, and they told him no, so he hung around for the whole day just playing on his laptop. Allegedly. So does uh, does uh, Musk love for the Fallout? Series? I think Elon Musk. I want to see his build. I want to see his build, see his build. Oh, build so bad. bad. Like his fucking Elden Ring build made me so angry. <laughs> I put all my levels two into shields. strength. <laughs> What are you insane? <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope it's true. I hope the idea of him just hanging around, yeah. too chastised to go home, mm. like too proud to go home, yeah. but too chastised to hang out with anyone. Mm-hmm. I think that rocks. All right, so Todd Howard's a... rocking the pipe pistol, you know it. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> He's a producer. Uh, who's Todd Howard? Todd He's Howard. the creator of... Okay. Of, well, he... he he, yeah. He's a big he wig of Bethesda. Okay. He's he did... a big Bethesda okay. man. Okay. I, I think you're right, Adam, in that I think... Th- I just thought he'd be in the background somewhere. <laughs> I, I was like, he might still possible. be. We don't this, know. This, this would be my guess for a basic layout of the plot. Mm-hmm. Lucy pops out of the vault, uh, and she's... Obviously, they don't want her... Fish to, out of water. She, mm-hmm. they, they don't want her to leave the vault, but she's leaving to, to get help, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. She gets out of the vault. She meets Walton Goggins. Mm-hmm. A couple of... Oh, we're in the wasteland, and in the background of these episodes, you have the Brotherhood of Steel, but they are framed as... Ultimately, a force for good in the wasteland. Mm. You reckon the I, I show it, will frame them like in that? In the beginning, yes. They'll okay. frame it the, as ultimately a source of good in the wasteland. They're trying to get the Gek or something to bring back humanity, mm. hoo ha, whatever. Then we get two episodes of tragic Walton Goggins' backstory, and we get a bit of exposition about how the world ended, yada, yada. 
uh, maybe throughout all this, we're cutting to Maximus. There will, be, there will be discovered, or maybe we'll know this from the beginning, that in the vault she came from, I think mm-hmm. you're right, Adam, there's mm. something. Mm-hmm. And then, oh, I, I think, yeah. well, this not necessarily has to, I mean, there might no, be a No, because then I think thing. that the lot, then it's going to be like, this Brotherhood of Seal, maybe that's where she's trying to go the whole time. Yeah. yeah. She gets there, and they're like, oh, actually, now you've led us back to your vault. Fight at the vault. Mm. Bada bing, bada boom, they destroyed the <clears throat> machine or wreck the Pridwin yeah. or whatever. And then maybe the NCR is like a setup future season bad guy sure. but i don't think it's going to be terribly complex mm. in in that way where it's like who's good who's bad i think it's going to be pretty obvious yeah i, I think i like with the whole vault thing about yeah. like oh yeah they go there's something about that vault that is you know very much like oh we need to go yeah. there and maybe they're getting up towards a fight but i, I reckon that's going to have already happened i think like oh, she's okay. going to be like mm. a survivor of that vault and like everything that you know we've saw in the trailers of like say carl mclaughlin mm. and all that that has happened in the past oh, and they're okay. all dead <laughs> Oh, uh, interesting. Yeah, okay. maybe I don't know because with a vault, it's like it only opens up after a certain amount of it time, yeah. or it if Each a certain vault is different. Yeah, or if yeah. a certain thing is hit. I was just thinking about that actually because I was trying to think. I'm trying to rack my brains. It's Vault Four, I think she comes from, uh, and I'm trying to rack my brain if they mention in any of the games Vault Four and what it's expect. So yeah. this is something that <laughs> the first time this ever came up, I hilariously yeah. Uh, I don't know if you recall. Oh, I recall. Yeah. Plumbing, okay. years and years and years ago. Our, our sister show, Plumbing the Death Star, yeah. where you we know. were like, hey, what if you were running a Volvo, what would it be? And um, then you started sprouting some stuff, and I'm like, what are you Ed, doing? Out of context, it sounds real <laughs> messed up. <laughs> anyway. Uh, great episode. Yeah, great, I just, oh, incredible episode. <laughs> I um, Yeah, I'm just wondering what the necessary, necessarily the experiment mm, might yeah. be for Vault 4. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there are, like, control vaults, so there could be no yeah. experiment mm. that have happened. But... I reckon I reckon there will have been an experiment happening and I just don't feel like I can confidently say what it is. But very quickly, my guess for the arc of the show as yeah. well is I think I think you're both a little bit right. I what I'm trying to focus on is because I reckon they the law established in Fallout 3, Fallout yeah. 4, and Fallout 76, that will be full display. Sure. Anything from 1, 2, or New Vegas yeah. is going to be background Absolutely. at best. Mm-hmm. So I reckon, because they they've got the either the Pridwin or some airship, yeah. mm-hmm. some Zeppelin, so I reckon it's going to be, she comes out of the vault, and then... Uh, I reckon there's going to be like a maybe some hinting at the Brotherhood or something, something. She first episode or first couple of episodes, she's just learning about the world. Maybe some small antagonists yeah. getting to know Mr. Ghoul. We go back in time. We learn the Brotherhood backstory with Maximus. Yeah. We learn something messed up has happened on either where the Brotherhood live <clears throat> on the East Coast in oh, yeah. Boston or Washington, or something fucked up is happening on the west coast around Los Angeles, the Brotherhood get in the Pridwin, fly over, oh, yeah. and then they become, and then we jump back to the present day, and the Brotherhood are going around messing people up. They're, yeah. being, they're the antagonists. Okay. They maybe, yes, find the vault, they mess up the vault, and then, but they're beaten back, they lose, the Pridwin explodes in some yeah. glorious thing, and then we have the, they've won, but... That was one airship. Yeah. Okay. I reckon maybe even literally the last shot, my prediction, the last shot is a whole fleet uh, of Zeppelins okay. slowly on their way west. That's my, yeah, that's my, okay. that's an Adam Carnavale <laughs> prediction. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't slam. Yeah. yeah. Is there anything in the, in the Fallout games where it's just like, okay, cool, we want to bring back the old times, make the world less irradiated. Uh, is there anything like that? Yeah, that will be the Gek, right? What is a Gek? Ge- so is it a guy? Is God- it a thing? It's a guy, God- yeah. No, okay. garden, garden of Eden. <laughs> <laughs> creation kit. Yeah. Okay. So it's a, a so a, a vaults that were designed to work as the vaults were intended, mm. or at least nominally so, had this. It, it is in the game. In the games that have it, it is like kind of a briefcase. Yeah. <laughs> you open it up, and it's got some magic <clears throat> techno crap okay. inside that creates a a. Uh, a wonderland, a verdant wonderland hmm. that you can basically rebuild the world with. Okay, could uh, uh, that be either the MacGuffin they're trying to go for, or maybe that was the thing they were either maybe? Uh, in the vault they were designing or helping make, or yeah, whatever it possibly might be. Possibly they could have a Gek. I think could, it's just, actually it's, they have all of that 
inside the vault, yeah. one of the shots is like a, like a, a farm. And yeah, stuff. a farm. So maybe yeah. they have a gap. Could, yeah. could you have something where that's the thing that they want to do because they want to make this world a better place? But are there any factions that are like, we don't want that because we actually are um, top of the food, like food no, chain? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, top of the, like, you know. Like, well, Gek is just a sought after resource. Yeah. Even okay. if you're on the top of the food chain and you want to keep it that way, yeah. having a Gek is yeah, a yeah, thing. Because yeah. it could be a thing where, like, I don't know, just like kind of like spitball here, like, oh, the Brotherhood are like, all right, we're going to say we're trying to save humanity mm. and we really want this. Mm. But really, if we can destroy we it, can because it. we're using that as like a thing that yeah, we can yeah. we can hold over people because yeah. uh, we we want to still be on top because we like power. Power. Yeah. I don't know oh, if yeah. you guys have yet some power. I hear Laws? that about power. I hear Delicious. that about power. People we love say it. that. Like Law from one, two, and New Vegas that does kind of seep its way into Fallout Four a little bit is mm. the, the Brotherhood of Steel. Just by their very nature, they are not very. They're not very. They don't have a great peacetime or home economic situation. Okay. So they're not they they're not great producers. They don't mm-hmm. make like okay. vegetables. They don't grow their own crops yeah. and stuff like that. Okay. So it wouldn't be outside the realm of possibility law wise for them to want the geck for that. I could see it being a thing where um whether it's a geck or whatever, when we, we get Maximilian's backstory <laughs> Sure. <laughs> you can you can hear in your voice how tired you are. <laughs> when you get Maximus's backstory that we open with the destruction of mm. another Gek in a mm. in a conflict yeah, or something with the Brotherhood maybe. of Steel. And they're like, we need another one. Where's another one? And they're like, Vault 4. Mm. And oh, then yeah. that's why they're coming to Los Angeles. Yeah, or very possible. Because they, they need to get that. Or I even, hadn't thought about it, it but a Gek would be a good MacGuffin. And I it's also like a yeah. reference for the people who want one. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, I remember Gek from Fallout 3. Get the yeah, cavalry yeah. on me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know that yeah. reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do we think it's going to be, because uh, like I said from the trailer, it doesn't seem like it's terribly, I mean, obviously it is full of references, mm-hmm. but at no point are they like, ah, ah, uh-huh. in the trailer. Uh-huh. Yeah, but do you think yeah. that you, they will be in the, a, in the you show? I am. You a courier? You, 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 they won't mention Courier 6. They're not going to mention. If they mention Courier 6, this is an Adam Cotavale prediction. Uh, if they mention Courier 6, uh-huh. I will shave my head bald. <laughs> okay. If they mention Courier 6. All, All right. right. Lock okay. it in. Lock that yeah. one in. Okay, dude. Um, mm-hmm. What was I going to say? Yeah. Uh, what were we saying? Just, oh, references. references yeah. I am cautiously optimistic. Me too. I For think it's going to be... I think... And I hate that I think this. I think that it's going to be good. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to enjoy it. Mm. And... Part of that, a function of that, is that if there is reference, it's going to be because it just would have made sense. Yes, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's, it's immersive. <laughs> if Courier 6 is there, it's going to be because they, a specific item that Courier 6 picks up in yeah. the game has to be delivered and uh, it makes sense. Absolutely. Yeah. And you're there watching it, episode 6, <laughs> shaving your head. <laughs> fuck, damn. Fuck, damn, fuck, damn, fuck, damn, fuck. I'm damn. scared. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had more literal and figurative skin in the game on let this me one. See, let me just imagine. You bald briefly. Uh, I think it would be actually f- fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You, I think you look great, bald. Yeah, I. You I'm should do it lie. anyway. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Just because of genetics, yeah. I am very terrified that if I shave this off, it's it will not coming not back. Come back. <laughs> that stresses me out too. Yeah, yeah. I think like what, like yeah. what if? Yeah. Or maybe it'll come back different. That happens for people sometimes. Yeah. Huh. They sh- get rid of all their hair and they get like curly hair. Head once. Why'd you shave your head? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't bet know. the Courier Six wasn't going to show off. Yeah, yeah, I don't mean to bet. Now it's like, how old was like 1920 something? Yeah. Like You're just yeah, like, what if? what if? 1920? Yeah. How old are you? Imagine you're bald. Yeah. It's not bad either. Eh. What would I look like bald? <laughs> Beautiful. I want you to go egg mode. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you make the face? <laughs> you, you look like a. You know when you push a cat's head back? <laughs> yeah. Am I yeah. awesome bald? Yeah. yeah. Hang on, yeah. Uh, I think Turn yes. to me, turn to me. <laughs> I reckon so. I right. Okay. I don't know how don't you'd look well. bald, but dude, you might look great riffraff in it. <laughs> Maybe I'll become a riffraff. Yeah, you would look good with a riffraff. That's awesome. You'd look good. I was. I could I could still hear, see the tufts the of hair here. Yeah. I was like, yeah. damn. Maybe I go full riffraff mode. Yeah. <laughs> well, you might look is, good riffraff. You heard it here first. <laughs> yeah, Korea 6 shows up. I'll go Adam's bald, bald Jackson, Jackson goes riffraff. I don't... I don't it's, no, a, those... that's an Adam Cannavale prediction. Oh, just, those just... <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, okay. So yeah. One thing that I think mm. about this show that mm. I noticed from the trailers, and I was trying to explain this while we were watching it, but it's hard. I, I don't know. I don't have the words for it. 
it felt in some some parts the shots felt quite flat. Is it? Do the I, shots feel flat, or is it when um, we haven't uh, set the settings on our TV <laughs> right, and so then I have to look up that video of Tom Cruise telling me what to do? Can I? Can I tell you the most messed up story about my brother the other day? Of that course, I found you can. Absolutely. So dude. my brother is uh, the sort of person who I he saw me playing Minecraft once, and he was like. Why would you play that? The graphics look awful. Yeah, mm-hmm. He's that Classic. sort of person. And I found out recently, his wife was telling me this, he will not watch a movie if it is over five years old. <laughs> he because it because it looks awful. That's awesome, dude. It looks terrible. Movies five older years than old five is years. like what, like twenty eighteen? Hey, guess what? This is the average Marvel viewer, probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. The uh, well, the average Marvel viewer who doesn't already know who. Jungus Mc, Mc yeah, yeah. This is your Johnny is, yeah. Q movies. Is your brother? If, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got a name for that guy. Yeah, yeah, it's Johnny yeah, Q yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's watching movies two p.m. Tuesday. He's a little drunk. We know when this guy. When you go we and you see a Marvel movie and you're yeah. like, why are they reestablishing who Captain America is? Yeah. This is why. Your brother's yeah, coming brother's... out after seeing what? Thanos and being like, Hulk's pink now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We know this guy. We know Johnny Q movies. Is that girl Hulk? Is that? They made a Hulk for girls. <laughs> huh. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Oh, She Hulk is great. I don't understand. <laughs> that was the biggest complaint. Uh, Why was She Hulk green? <laughs> green is for boys. Oh, yeah, she Hulk should have been pink. I don't Shut understand. Sorry. Yeah, Sorry. I don't understand anyway. this. what's going on here. <laughs> He will not watch a movie older than five years because it looks yeah, terrible. That's... And then I had this very funny conversation where Beautiful. He, I was talking about, well, what about film? Do yeah. you watch film, film? And uh, he was like, no, what do you mean? And I'm like, oh, you know, like a movie from the 1960s. And he's yeah. like, but that'll look awful. It's from like 50 years. I think he literally yeah. said 50 <laughs> years ago. Close enough. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's more not, or less. It's, yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, no, 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 no. Do you not understand how film works? Yeah, yeah. It's not digital, yes, you lose quality, but film, film is... just says, this, yeah. Yeah, film does not degrade. It's probably going to look a lot better than some film. And then <clears> the conversation <throat> moved on to, well, tell me about your TV then. And my brother knew nothing about uh, the specs uh, of his of TV. Of course. The most unhinged thing. A man so obsessed with how a movie <laughs> looks, but does not okay. not even know the resolution He's definitely or not watched that Tom Cruise he has, he video. He needs to watch that Tom Cruise Dude, video. Dude, that's awesome. Wow. Wow. Incredible wow. stuff. I understand if you're like, oh, I don't really want to watch anything that involves a lot of heavy CGI use. Yeah, because that it takes was not me, what he meant. I know. Because it takes me out of the movie yeah, too course. much. You're like, oh, yeah, like because back in the day that looked really good. But now you watch, you're like, oh, the CGI is too much. They're really trying to show off. Whereas I'm like, but like, I don't know. Dinner with Andre. Yeah, how much, yeah like, exactly. <laughs> How much like CGI do you, do you need? Like, it's, this is obviously like, going back a while, but I remember having ah, a conversation years ago with that's him. That's awesome. Where when the the Hobbit was coming out, yeah, yeah. I remember having this conversation with him yeah. where he was like, uh, "I don't remember the." We, I think it was when the third one was coming out. He's like, mm. "I don't really remember the story, but I can't go back and watch it. It looks so bad." <laughs> well, buddy, I mean, buddy, guess what? It always looked bad. Brother, it never uh, looked good. Well, <laughs> hey, in that but particular. B, um, Buddy, they were filmed together. Uh, that's so funny, dude. I like that. It's a. It is. I guess it's a hard line as well. So yeah. it's like, well, can't do what's that. Well, well, he's insane. Month? He's mm. a crazy person. It's just. It's great that that person is um, mm. li- living their life with little thoughts going around yeah. and having a little life. Absolutely. Little yeah, yeah, they're doing. They're just walking around. Just Marvel's catering to him. Yeah, of course. Well, Marvel does a, does a weird thing where it tries to cater to him and also yeah. the super fan and makes very bad movies. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, mm. but to me, I mean, like, again, I don't know what I'm talking about. Part of this felt, no, because I watched it on YouTube before mm. we watched it in here. Yeah. So I guess it was on my phone, so who knows. But look, <laughs> it did. part of it did feel yeah. like that very digital, very flat, yeah. very kind of like almost washed out in a way. I was genuinely a little surprised by how many set, how many sets I saw. Yes, mm. I, do, I do like, I do appreciate that. Yeah. I do appreciate yeah, all the practical sets and stuff. Kind of looked nice. To be to like from my oh, perspective, it was like, oh, it looks, looks kind of nice. It kind of kind of blends that, um, you know, that kind of nice pristine shininess of like I'm a I'm a mm. you know, came out of the vault and it's all my suits quite nice. To like, oh, we're living in mm. post apocalyptic. Oh blown yeah, up I'm America. glad that they're doing the kind of original vault suit as well. Just I don't think it would have been a big deal. It's just the redo of the vault suits for mm. some of the early some of the Bethesda games are just very like. 
sexualized. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're very skin tight. When the suits were originally kind of like a more utility mm. appearance. Okay. I, I appreciate, I just, just like the original. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I just like the original utility appearance. I think it looks you nice. You do lose some of the sex appeal. Yeah, yeah. wow, well, hey. <laughs> I saw Walton well, Goggins is in I don't know, you see, yeah. yeah, you yeah. see yeah. Walton yeah. Goggins? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. Smoke show. Uh, what do we think about? Talking um, about 69 and me. Oh, I know. <laughs> he has Talking the upper, about finishing he, early yeah. while 69 is. He has the upper body strength to hold me. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> you want to repeat that one? I think you got enough of that for the class, Jack. <laughs> People heard. <laughs> Do you think it tripled? Goldick. Yeah, I think it would. I think it would be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Anyway, what were you going to ask? Incredible. Uh, uh, Matt, is it Matt Berry? Matt Berry, that's right. Matt Berry yeah, plays, plays a, a Mr. Robot. Handy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's not that's, me. That's Fallout. That's okay. the robot's name. It's uh, Matt Handy. If it was okay. me, I'd call him Mr. Handjob. Because <laughs> that's funny. No, okay. um, yeah, so Matt Berry is playing one of the one of the robots. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming that will be a, like, one episode antagonist. Yeah, maybe. Or like, yeah. A, like a kind of, uh, when she's mm-hmm. just left mm-hmm. the vault mm-hmm. and she's experiencing the she, horrors that I the reckon- Wasteland has. I reckon it'll be like a there's a Mr. Handy in the vault who mm. who's mm. normal, mm-hmm. and then she goes out. She finds this other Mr. Handy, and yeah, she's like, true. "Mr. Handy," and he's like, "I'm going yeah. to harvest your organs, yeah. New York City." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I reckon he'll say that. Yeah, right before he does it. It's New a Matt Berry reference. Yeah. <laughs> um, right before he cuts, cuts her open. Oh, yeah. she's gonna, that's <laughs> yeah, she she's gonna die. That's why she's only in five episodes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. five. Yeah. First, she does the first episode. The other three are flashbacks. flashbacks. <laughs> yeah, and every. Flashback, she's like, gee, I hope I don't get my guts <laughs> torn open by a Mr. Handy. Mr. Handy comes in and says, if I ever say New York said I. Oh, so it's the Mr. Handy yeah. from her vault. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Whoa. That's crazy. <laughs> it's going a bit crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I like, Matt Berry's great, so it's, yeah. it's always a pleasure to hear his voice. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be yeah, one of those almost... Um, Mm, he's like monster of the week almost. Oh really? Oh, okay. Interesting. Do you, do, you, yeah. do you think we're gonna have something like that where like no, so there's gonna be an I overarching agree. story, but then I, it's like oh yeah, we have like the Matt Berry New yeah. York City uh, kind of uh, I would villain, love and them. then we have a bear. Yeah, then I we think have that a... would be amazing. The, the funniest part is because that would resemble Pokemon heaps, and so <laughs> I would love that uh, if they had a new monster every yeah. episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think so, but well, yeah. I guess I, this yeah. monster, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Handy, Mr. Handy, Mr. Handy, yeah. Mr. Handjob. I think it's far more. <laughs> Likely that it's going to be like a, mm. it's going to be like a going from place to place. So mm. I think she's going to come out of the vault and meet Walton Goggins. Mm-hmm. And Walton Goggins is going to is going to be like, I can see that you are completely new to this world yeah. and you're massively underprepared. And I'm a bit of a like a mess myself, but I'm yeah. going to take you under my wing. And she's going to be like, I need to get to <laughs> somewhere, and and that'll be like say a. Do we think Walton Goggins? No, you no I was going to say, do we do we think that there's going to be the uh, connection between Walter Goggins and Lucy? Like the ghoul oh. and Lucy, do you think it's going to be like, um, oh, you, they maybe could do that's a thing. your, like, I'm nah, actually your great, 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 great Well, I mean, they could, well, what they so. could do is they could do a thing where um, in the flashback to Walton Goggins, he's like, we got to get to Vault <coughs> 4 or whatever, mm. and mm. he fucks it up. He gets lost, mm-hmm. <laughs> catches the wrong bus, Maybe and then I in the future he's like, "Oh, I was meant to be with yeah, you." Yeah, I could see that, but uh, because I wasn't. All right, yeah. very quick yeah. prediction. So we saw. I think there are two shots in the trailer. Yeah. We saw two shots of a dog. Okay. Do we think dog meat is going to be like a full-on <laughs> character? Yes, I think yeah. so. Is dog there a iconic. dog in the list of credits? And uh, do dogs typically <laughs> get into the list? I don't think no, dogs are no, 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 look, yeah, no one can ever find maybe, a dog. I, don't know. I couldn't even find Matt Berry in the cast list. Well, there you go. Matt yeah. Berry's not on here. Maybe, so maybe dog, dog meat's in there. Yeah, maybe dog is. Maybe dog's in the movie. Did um, someone, was someone's name Angry Ear? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that? Angry Ear. Angry- okay, yeah, by Paul yeah. Morelia. Yeah, there's Angry a birthday Ear. boy, Roy. That sounds nice. And there's elderly an elderly speaker. speaker. I, when yeah. they are real names, I quite mm-hmm. like the Fallout mm. types of names. This is good. Call the good uh, 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 post-apocalypse names. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I just like what? Like pregnant lady? Wilzig. <laughs> Will's one? Well, no, go back to... Well, Angry Ear? Oh, Are you yeah, telling that's me that's not a great Overseer name? Hank? Mr. Soccer, I think I saw. Okay. Oh, well, Overseer <laughs> Hank's obviously not yeah. an apocalypse. Yeah. Anyway. No, no, I, yeah, I the agree. The Ghoul? I the like that. Good. That's the a good name. Good. 
Uh, one thing that has given me a bit of pause yeah. is that uh, I clicked on like directors. One yep. of the director there, um, uh, Wayne Yip, Yip, is uh, known for directing uh, Lord of the Rings, The Ring of Power, four oh. episodes, The Wheel of Time series, uh, two episodes. Uh, I, uh, Doom Wheel Time, Patrol, he did. Wheel of Time, uh, d- d- terrible, yeah. bad, garbage. Um, and Rings of Power, I've heard only bad things. Yeah. Well, not anything. Really? I've You've only heard good. bad things? I've only heard Actually, good things. I've only heard nothing. I think I've heard bad I've things heard and good things. A couple of bad measure. things about the uh, Rings of Power, and then nothing. Yeah, yeah. it's been mostly blank. It's um, been but yeah, also, Wheel of Time, terrible. Mm. He's also on Hunters Happy and Doom Patrol, which I've heard yeah, good yeah. things about. I mean, oh, Doom yeah. Patrol is like just preacher fine things, I guess. Oh, Dirk Gently's holistic oh, yeah. detective agency. Cloak and Dago. I've heard also a TV not good show things. I really intended to watch for Ooh. some reason. Never did. And he's, he's directing one episode, and then um, yeah, I think. A oh, real... oh, oh, that was Jonathan Nolan is. Um, oh, okay. Doing some of this, yeah, I think a real risk this I'll show find has. Out if it's any good? Yeah, he's yeah. Doing, yeah, he's directing um, a couple of uh, episodes. Mm, cool. I think mm. a risk that this show has yeah. is to um, do nothing terribly interesting with the world of Fallout. So this is kind of what you were saying, yeah. I think, in a bit, Adam, where it's like it's it's not treating Fallout as like a playground to tell stories in, mm. which is, I think, kind of what The it's Last of Us did. It's treating it as an amusement ride. Yeah. Oh, let's get get on the thing. Make sure mm-hmm. you have your Brotherhood of Steel <laughs> helmet on. Yeah. Which is fine. Yeah. Like, I think that's an okay... Huh. You, well, I think you can do it well. I think you can do a show that where, where that's yeah. what you're getting and that's sure. whatever. It's no big okay. deal. You have a fine time. You sit down with it. Hooray, hurrah. Mm. But I don't know there's much longevity to that. Yeah. I don't mm. know. So I think, you know, like, the TV show Andor, right? Fantastic TV show. Yeah. And I think what that did was, like, hey, here's Star Wars. We've got the bits of Star Wars, but let's do something kind of unique and interesting and take them in di- directions you wouldn't expect. Sure. Uh, but I really don't think the Fallout TV show is that kind of TV show. Mm. And so I think there's kind of a risk that it'll feel sort of almost bland in mm. a way um, mm. with that in mind. Uh, I don't know. I, I think that I, I have I have a hub for this one. Oh, I'm, nice. I'm looking at this and thinking like, well, hopefully they'll take a leaf more out of the um, like the Last of Us mm. as opposed to sort of, I don't know, any other, the other terrible, terrible uh, yeah. movie at a uh, video game at a What patience. ones have happened recently? In terms of um, terrible ones, terrible, terrible ones. adaptations. Um, I don't know. Like, is I, it I an upward, to... or an upward trend, a downward trend, or about the same right now? I think it's I think upward. An upward right? Five Nights at Freddy's was beloved. Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm doing was the Gwitty in the studio. Yeah, um, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was, really, it was well okay. liked. They're getting a sequel. Um, the Mario movie did well. Uh, Last, Last of Us, Us did well. Uh, okay. I'm thinking like how, uh, the Halo series. I I didn't. I don't Halo think that's done well. People are not liking. It's a stinker. It's for a lot of different reasons. Stinker mode. I'm afraid. Some mm. reasons valid, some reasons invalid. Yeah. Mm. I think it's just when you're making something like as iconic as Fallout, you it's such a crux to be like, mm. these are the iconic parts, mm. and, and it might be well, enough that's why I'm a to just give of, them the iconic bits. That's why having Brotherhood of Steel without thinking about, or just inserting yeah. Brotherhood of Steel, not that I'm necessarily saying they are, but just inserting Brotherhood of Steel because they look cool, yeah. that's why it's I find a, that I, like, worrying. Again, I really hope that this is not the case. Mm. I hope it's like a, at the very worst, just like a bit of fun. Yeah. But it feels like there is a really risk that that relying on on these mm. like iconic elements just ends up with a like a bland I, end product. Yeah. I will I will say mm. I have never disliked something Walter Goggins is in. So mm. that I've That's got that true. going for. Great it. name, great guy. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm looking at the again looking at just like um we weirdly Ooh, uncharted. That weirdly oh, good. It's it's films <laughs> where yeah. I'm like, oh, some bad ones. Yeah, Sonic Did the Hedgehog, Uncharted. Uncharted. Movie? No. no. The worst part about the Uncharted movie is they kept looking like they were going to do something cool and then not doing <laughs> something cool. That's very funny. Most frustrating part of that movie. Yeah. So, like, looking at in terms of, yeah, uh, I, get, I think film still is a bit of a swing mm, and a miss. Yeah. But I feel like they're doing a bit better in terms of... Um, Television series. Okay. I forgot they were doing a, uh, a Bioshock. Bioshock. Yeah. We did an episode on that years ago. Hmm. Now Beyond... it came out. Hmm. And a Beyond ah, Good and Evil. They're doing a Beyond Good and Evil? Crazy. Yeah. War is a funny one to do a TV show or anything mm. about simply because how mm. would you, who could you get? How... What human being? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you. there's only so many The Rock. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, huh. That's funny. I think I'm doing it. It takes, it takes two. two. Dragons there, Mega apparently. Mega Man, Toe Jam, and Earl. Hmm. Whoa. Yeah, right. 
Yeah. Um, so like I don't know. I don't know if there's like an upward. Um, uh, look, I think swing. I think there's been some more like, oh wow, we've got The Last of Us. Everyone's like, oh yeah, it's pretty, it's yeah, pretty, yeah it's Last good. of Us was amazing. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good, it's pretty good, it's pretty, yeah, pretty damn uh, good. Yeah. Yeah. And then I can't think of anything else that I'm like. That's I think actually it's, a really it's good. well, it's, but it's it's funny because it's also like judging how good this video game movie adaptation mm. will be based on if other ones have been good. Mm. It's not. I mean, if the if you're writing, if you've got a good script and you sure. got good actors. And you've got a, a good plan for your sh- for your well, show. Yeah. It'll be good because <laughs> like, that's a, that's really you know. the real crux of it. Yeah, there. you've got you know again you've got the creator of uh, uh, Westworld. Who yeah, was involved, yeah. But exactly. also he's, he's, a, he's, a, you know, he's brother of Christopher Nolan who did that's you know, some great films. First season one season of Westworld, of Westworld was, good. was good. Yeah. Second yeah. season had some cool ideas. Yeah. Third season ended exactly the same way as the movie Fight Club for some reason. Ooh. In the fourth season, I've heard it was an inversion, and now the robots go to the cowboy park. <laughs> and, and the people are the people. Yes, the people, the people are, are the cowboys Is that you a can joke? kill and have are you sex joking? with. I think that's the plot of the last that's one. That's insane. Yeah, dude. That's crazy. And the people are the people? The people are and the people. And the people are the people. The robots are the people, and the people are the robots. I believe. What? I didn't watch it because the third season was so bad, but I believe this is the plot. So the people go to... No, the, the, robots, the robots. robots go to Westworld. The robots pay $10,000 a day <laughs> to go shoot people. Yes. Can't they just have an uprising to do that? No, but it won't be Wild West themed. It's just like going... It will be if they want it to be. I don't even Look, know what kind of. A, I've not seen. I don't this even season. know what kind of analogy I'm trying to make here. Like, it, I couldn't tell like you where I got to, this information. It's just like going to a farm with a lot of cows. I was like, "Yes, I got." Show me. Go on. Show me. Kill me, cow. Show me. Final season is people and robots <laughs> swap places. <laughs> what am I? Good How what's he gonna? Su- I don't know. Uh, Final season, West World, world plot, plot, and do they swap people places? People are robots, robots are people, <laughs> question mark. Why, why do we why root, root, root for the robots, robots against, against the humans? That's, that's, not, that's not what we're no. asking, Mr. Right. You know, come on now. You you know, you're not, you've not who's a robot either. and who's, who's a human? I believe that uh, my cr- claim... The beauty is nobody saw that season. <laughs> and the beauty is... Who, no, who amongst you would refute me? Yeah, the beauty is... You can't. Yeah, you can't. You can't it's, see it's, it. It's gone. Who amongst you would it's dare gone. to say I'm wrong? It's gone now. You can't watch you it. You cannot watch season it's four of It's embarrassing to admit that you watched season four of Westworld. <laughs> exactly. I think they introduced a 1920s gangster world in it as, two, as well. So they're probably not going to Cowboy World. Do they call it Gangster World? Uh, yes, I think they do. He could say anything right now, and we have no way to refute him. We, that is annoying. The world's correct. world. West world, world, Samurai World, The Raj, which yeah, is if you wanted to go to British India uh, during the time of The Raj. The World War II World. World War II World. Uh, and then 1920s Gangster World. Okay. And there were possi- worlds. Po- possibly others. <laughs> We're going to get a Westworld revival? I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> you invent human realistic robots. I don't know how you get past the we fuck them step. <laughs> what do you mean? They, what do you, they, they, what, what do you, what do you mean, possibly mean? want? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, I get it. Well, I, I understand. Well, like, I guess I want to fuck them in different er- like dressing up in different eras. You don't yeah. need a world for that. <laughs> you need no, a room. Because you go to Cowboy World and you're like, I'm here at Cowboy World. I'm doing a fuck the prospect at any percent run. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they should have had speed runners in that. I go in and I just oh, speed run fuck. to fucking the prospector in the middle of town, <laughs> and he's saying, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." Can I give you? Woo! Can I give you an alternate, fucking way better <laughs> yeah. season one where you know how what's his name White Hat? Yeah, he, yeah, like yeah. learns to hate Dolores yeah, or whatever because yeah. he's like, "Oh my god, she's reset." Yeah. What if he learns to hate her because he's about to walk up to her and he sees someone swoop in really quickly, try to do yeah, the yeah. speed. <laughs> he's speed running the guy walks in like what are you doing he's like hang on a second he opens the door like four times uh, opens a window glitches his way to a this gulch is for orange. somewhere <laughs> he opens the door four times and Dolores just <laughs> just oh, her starts spinning well, not around well completing the quest <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will be your wife. <laughs> Fucking got it. All right. Yeah. yeah no. like, uh, on to the next one. <laughs> leans backwards completely and starts shooting his gun up in the air. Dolores, here's your quest. <laughs> See that, chat? <laughs> <laughs> Chad, is this real? <laughs> no, the funniest part is if he's like, God, she fucked it up. And then he has to go back and start <laughs> it, again. it again. He gets back on the train. 
Oh, fuck, man. Oh, yeah. Westworld was, it could have been, <laughs> been good. It could have been good. Westworld could have been great. Glorious TV uh, show. Do we have any swings for the fences <laughs> yes. for the Fallout TV show? Mm, mm. Any big things that you believe are going to happen? Big predictions? These are similar, Adam, to an Adam, Adam prediction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, they're yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're okay. very, very much a, um, yes, a big big swing for the fence. Yeah. It doesn't have to be outlandish. It's just like, you know, the, yeah. your, your reputation. Really, it is. Yeah, 100%. It's, a, it's, an, Adam, it's an Adam guarantee. Yeah, I think we're going to to be yeah playing around with time more than we think. Oh, interesting. Like, I, I think it's just going to be like what we think is definitely like going to be like the present time or yeah. whatever. It's all going to be like some of the past and we're going to keep jumping back and forth and mm. we're not really going to know when the kind of t- current timelines are yeah, until very late in the season when it, that's going to be like the big penny drop, the big reveal, yeah. that big kind of thing of like, oh, we're here for the MacGuffin. Whatever that might be, and then Lucy being like, "We ate that MacGuffin yeah. sixteen years ago." Oh, you mean the mega oh, chicken? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we ate the mega chicken. God oh, damn it! No. He ruined the wasteland. The king egg it hatched. <laughs> yeah, it turns yeah. out it was just empty. Yeah. Um, my swing to the fence, uh, and this is a pretty big swing. Skyrim reference, Ooh. or Elder Scrolls reference, I should say. Whether that's Nurn Root. Or whether yeah. that's like even uh, the the Skyrim poster mm. in the background of a shot or something. Mm. Someone wearing a helmet. Someone wearing yeah, a Skyrim style helmet. And then on top of that, when that appears in the TV show, a bunch of nerd aggregator articles <laughs> being like, "Are we going to get yeah. a Skyrim TV show?" Yeah, that's my prediction. <sighs> yeah, yeah. And do you want to add any more to your two? <laughs> yeah, going to go for the hat trick. <laughs> uh, well, so it's uh, the the prediction of all of the prid wins at the mm-hmm. end of the thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No Courier 6? Is that yeah, my yeah. second mm-hmm. one? All right. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. you know what? Let's add a third one. Walter Goggins dies. Oh, dead Goggins. I reckon Walter Goggins dies. He has like a... He couldn't save his daughter when the bombs mm-hmm. fell, but he can save... What's Lucy, her face? Yeah. Yeah. Lucy, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. I reckon that'll be it. Yep, yeah. good, th- good theory. Good theory. Okay, well... And I'll shave my head... <laughs> If I am in any... That's not true. <laughs> be careful. Uh, my be shaving, careful. My shaving my head will only be if there's a Courier 6 reference. Okay. And not a full out New Vegas, a Courier mm-hmm. 6 yeah. reference. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, now yeah. he's doing it good. He's doing it good. Because yeah. he's weaseling his way out. Yeah. yeah. You know, you're, you're, you're being guest well, Joel real yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're doing it good. You know the goalposts? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just loosening yeah. the soil. Yeah. 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 That's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, okay, no, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. You're doing well. You're doing well. Well, on that note... I have to shave my hair. <laughs> I've been Joel. I am Samson. I've been Jackson. I am Samson. <laughs> <laughs> this has been another episode of Base Speculation, and well, we we've been the BS boys. Adam, where can we find yeah, you? And, um, <laughs> not, not in your bathroom shaving your head. Yeah. Um, you can find me at Retro Archetype on most social medias. I am also the host and dungeon master of D and D is for Nerds, mm. and also. Uh, for our series Beyond the Map. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wearing some of them. That's true. You are. Yeah. Yeah. You're not wrong. Well, have a good one and hope you see you in the wasteland. See you in the wasteland. Wasteland all. <laughs>